Okay, we're filming a Sweet Six Twisted Wire Dog Bone. Now, this little black bungee is representative of lip stretch. So we've got it around the front teeth. Now, these Twisted Wire Dog Bones, people think they're nice bits. They're really not. You can see how this, well, I'm actually going to take my lip off for a second. You can see how this would come down. Now, these are spaced to ride just about right over the edges of the bar. So they do break the bit over the bar, which means that all of this twist is lip action. These are not that smooth because once you start pulling, you can feel it vibrate and you can feel it pick up the tongue. Again, no amount of lubrication is gonna save the horse from that amount of roughness on the tongue. Now these things don't just go back and forth. Sadly, they also go up that's where the lip stretch comes in. So here's our lip, and here's our pull. You can see the curb chain come, the cannon start to climb, and then there's that lip stretching. The pull pressure increases, and that bit is pulling back and up in the mouth, and it's taking the tongue with it. It's, you can see the bulge of the tongue behind the dog bone coming up into the mouth. And if you were to pull at that, that point of extension with the lip, you see you're really moving the tongue. And you're really pulling that lip back and up. And again, these are riding over the top of the bars. Now this is not going to get into the top of the mouth too much. Um, mainly because most horses end up gaping at the mouth. But this has definitely got ratchet action. When you reach the full extent of the curb chain, it just allows you to put pressure against it and pull back more. So not a good action bit. Um, it, I think it gets your horse behind himself. Uh, any horse tucking this much is not running or turning effectively. So I think there's better options out there.